started unless people are trying to go to a different room. Like, feel free to make your changes. I'm not offended. People walk out on me all the time. Uh, uh, my name is Z, and I'll be talking with you a little bit about uh, my company, Zinc, and how we have moved on to uh, a more asynchronous process for our distributed Agile team. Um, uh, all of the things that we do are, are built on this foundation of what we believe makes an effective team. Uh, the first of these is trust. If you can't trust your team members, or if your team members can't trust the executives or your customers, then your team will not be effective. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very simple formula. Uh, and, and building trust is the most important part of any, an, any team, in our, in our opinion. The second is respect. Um, people who respect one another do better work. Uh, if I can respect that you are a diligent person who is doing the best that they can, who can quote the retrospective prime directive right now? Anyone? Yeah, Diana. Uh, so the retrospective prime directive is basically a very simple statement. Uh, I believe that everyone on my team is doing the best they can with the skills, abilities, and experiences that they have. Um, and that is foundational to having an effective team, having this respect for one another. The third is alignment. Um, knowing where you're going uh, is much more important than knowing how you're getting there. Um, I, I have a travel buddy who I sometimes visit, uh, and we just pick a destination, and I just rely on them to figure out how we're going to do things. And we wind up having wonderful adventures because our ideas never work out, but we are aligned on this notion of having a delightful, uh, a delightful trip to Thailand or a, 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 a wonderful jaunt to Taipei or whatever. Um, and so alignment is a really important part of having a productive team, having an effective team. Uh, freedom, uh, being able to express yourself and do things in the way that you are most comfortable, uh, being free to experiment, try new technologies, new techniques, new ideas um, and within the context for alignment is, is very powerful. Uh, it's a, this incredibly motivating thing to be able to take a task and say, you know what? I'm going to try and deliver this user story um, using just purely functional programming idioms. Like no, no uh, object, or no, not no object oriented design, but no state mutation in between function calls or anything like that. Um, and having the freedom to do that and to experiment um, is a powerful thing because it means you get new ideas and new practices that get integrated into your teammate, uh, into your team much more quickly. Um, and finally, diversity. Uh, if everyone is a programmer with a, a background in computer science, then you're going to have a lot of computer science-y solutions to problems. Um, you may be surprised at this, but programming isn't the solution to all problems in the world. Um, it's hard for me to say that because I am a programmer, but there's lots of problems that are solved.